Hi everybody, this is Pam Fahey from Oklahoma City and I want to share with you Mars and Venus Ambrosia. This is what I have for breakfast every single day, pretty much every single day since I came up with this recipe back in January. I, I came up with this recipe because I wanted an alternative to my shakes. I still have my shakes, but I wanted something to eat. So what I came up with is Venus Ambrosia. And you make it with the Venus shake, Super Shake for Women. So I'm going to show you a real quick method on how to put it together. When you're in a hurry and you want to have a great breakfast, you can even take it with you. So first of all, we're going to start off with some fresh fruit. My favorites are strawberries, bananas, and grapes. I'm going to show you how to cut up the banana first because that's the most important part to get right. I've cut a banana in half. And then I'm only going to use half of it. I save the other half for the next ambrosia. And I cut the end off. And then I cut it down the middle. And I put it down, cut right through the middle. Then I take that and I cut it into thirds and that half. And I dump it into a large mixing bowl. And so I just chop little pieces off. And it's pretty nice and easy to do. Don't have to get my hands into it. And so that works really well. Take the other half of the banana. And again, just falling apart here today. <laughs> you just chop it up into pieces and drop it in. It's just for you to eat. It doesn't matter how beautiful your pieces of fruit look, really. Then I'm going to take two strawberries, and I'm going to cut them in half, and put them on my little cutting board. Cut them in half, and then I do a quick little chopping up into smaller pieces, because I want bite-sized pieces of fruit. And you can make them as big or as small a pieces as you want. I dump that in the mixing bowl. Now I take 10 red grapes. You can do purple. I don't care for the green grapes in this. They're not quite as good. And I use red or purple. And I do two at a time and cut them in half. We're trying to make enough surface for the chocolate shake to adhere to. And that's it. And now I've got approximately three quarters of a cup of fresh fruit in here. And you can do other fruit like raspberries or mangoes or sometimes I do kiwi or pears or apples. Um, I stay away from the melons, the honeydew, the watermelon, and the cantaloupe. They don't work as well. I'm now going to put two scoops of the Venus shake right on top of my fruit. And that's that. That's the base of my delicious, nutritious breakfast. Now I've got chocolate-covered fruit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually just stir that up by shaking the bowl around. We've done this so many times we've become pretty much an expert at how to make this quickly. I don't know if you're timing this or not, but it doesn't take long. Last but not least, I'm going to get uh, one tablespoon of virgin coconut oil, unrefined. Very important for the unrefined. I'm going to add that. It's very healthy oil, probably the healthiest oil. Now I'm just going to mix that in. And now the fruit is going to stick to the shake, and pretty soon you've just got coated chocolate fruit that's absolutely delicious. And if you don't believe me, you've got to try it for yourself, because once you try this, you will know how good this is. So there's, there's my breakfast. Now, if I want to take it on the go, I can take a little cup, a plastic cup, and I can put it in the cup. So you might need a bigger cup than this for on the road. You can literally take this on the road. You can share it with somebody if you'd like. But I'm telling you what, there's nothing better than Venus Ambrosia to get your day off to an absolutely great start. So try some today. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Have a great day.